putting shocks on this trailer like we do a lot of them and as usual down below will be some information there is going to be a link to a pdf that's going to give you length and dimensions and characteristics and styles of every shock that monroe makes uh, that i found i'm going to post that down there where i've also got parts or relative product that's next to that for where you'll be able to get shocks to do what you're going to see here so watch here and let's go to this video about why i'm putting shocks on this trailer a 1967 trailer frame that's from an rv um, if you look in the picture here i'm going to show you a picture right quick uh, in the background of my harbor freight double that picture and that is an, it's a 1967 trailer frame i thought it was a 61 because part of the seven was wore off until i got into the frame itself it's a 67 model frame so back in 1967 was an extremely extremely good year apparently for trailer frame building these are built very stout however we're going to be cutting this to narrow it down to where it is a basically a five and a half foot wide bed by 14 and a half feet uh, total length of the bed and accessory area and what we're working with here is um, as you can tell I put some nice uh, Ford Explorer rims on it it has a 3500 pound axle with 10 inch electric brakes we're going to sandblast clean and replace all the hardware and internals of these bearings included and what I'm working with is I am really stuck on putting shock absorbers on these trailers and a lot of people think that's silly or goofy, but if you use yours like I do a lot, you chew the tires up. They just get shredded up because when you're empty, they just bounce and chew up. It doesn't matter how well you balance them. They're just going to do it. Uh, even little uh, road expansion joints eat your tires up. For about $10 to $20 a piece, you know, when you're talking about a $100 worth of good quality trailer tire, 8 plies or 10 plies, for $10 to $20 a piece, you can get something like these Gabriels here. And this is a Gabriel 749614. And they're compressible down to about 8.5 inches. So, makes them pretty short. And what that allows for is it's got about three and a quarter, three and a half inches of travel, and it allows for me to place them right in here in the frame. So they'll fit without hitting anything. That's fully extended right there. So I'm able to put these damn near straight up with a little bit of compression already on them. And instead of having my tires, uh, this is just an old set of tires that's on here. They'll be replaced. But instead of having my tires just shoot, just shredded up, my load jumped all around because of the thing bouncing. Putting a set of shocks on one of these is not that hard to do. It's actually pretty easy. And on this model, as you can see, all the hardware, all the crap from the travel trailer was still here. And this is pretty heavy steel here. This is... Uh, um, uh, quarter inch on the back on the long plate and 3 16 coming out on this uh, flange for the C channel so it's a four and four by one and three quarters so it's pretty stout I'm gonna beef it up but on these 3500 pound axles down here at the bottom of the uh, spring mount you can actually weld a bolt onto that just underneath right there and the bottom of your shock will not be affected or hit by any kind of road debris because your bolt bolts are a lot lower than that and you can weld a a, uh, a number eight bolt all the way across right here and if you get one that's just threaded on the end down here you can cut it and put it in there and put a full weld very rigid bolt and of course most of the weight will be at this point right here and you bolt that on and then we're going to show you how to make a little box in here for this uh, piece for this to mount on so that the shock will literally sit at about that angle up inside the frame about an inch off of the frame itself now in this area here where the perches are at we're going to box it on both sides to strengthen it up and then of course i'll have some cross members going in here 
and we'll put some pieces of plate down in here on both sides of the cross member. It's going to get very rigid that way. But being able to add an affordable shock absorber is a big deal. So that is what we're dealing with here. The classic Gabriel shock 82614 um, is one of the model numbers on it if you want to look it up. There, these were these were about $12, $14. So. And one of the things you're going to be able to see me do later is how we're going to wire up these brakes on this. Now we're going to probably replace the brakes if they're not new enough as they are and replacing the, um, the bearings. You'll note that it is a 3,500 pound axle by the brake plate mounting location. If you have a 5, that's 5,200 or greater. So if you're looking at doing work using an old salvage frame like this, uh, look at some of my other videos. I've done a lot of work on that. And don't forget to comment. If you have a question, ask. Kind of sort of, I have been there and then I can answer any question that I might have knowledge on. So if you want to know how to do this, how to build your own trailer off of a frame like this, one is you're going to add structure to it. You're going to strengthen it. But these nice, high quality Dexter axles are not uh, cheap. I mean, you're going to pay a lot of money. And these axles are not made in China. This is the good, heavy American steel, well-made, durable. And if you have a choice between that and buying a kit of an axle and springs, try to find you one of these. Even at 30, 40, and like this in this case, 50 years old, it's better than anything you get on the market today. And all the parts are still available, so. All right, keep an eye on this. Watch for more adaptions and changes to this one as we make this one. It will become the anime trailer. That's my old broad, 12 and a half years old. Still kicking. Right, anime? All right, guys, stay tuned. We're going to be doing more to it, and you'll see the, the entire job on it from time to time. Keep an eye on my videos, and we'll get you the best information we can as we go.